everyone. Today is going to be a very busy and special day. Greg and I are celebrating my grandmother's 80th birthday party at the Timber Doodle Club in Temple, New Hampshire, which is a surprise and it's gonna be so much fun and a lot of family. My uncle from Texas flew up, so like it's a big thing. And then we're also celebrating a wedding in Connecticut later on for Greg's family, friend, very close. And then we're ending the day in Rhode Island, you know, we're sleeping here. Um, we're not getting a hotel in Connecticut just because I'm trying to save money. It's been a kind of expensive last few weeks. So anyways, it's gonna be a very fun day. I won't be documenting the wedding just because I wanna be present, but I will be documenting a lot of my grandmother's 80th birthday party because it'll be such a special and fond memory. I always love my time with my grandmother. She's so much fun and I always learn something from her every time that we spend time together. So I'm really excited for that. So Greg and I are gonna go and make the drive up. It's such a beautiful day. Really nice day in Rhode Island and New Hampshire and Connecticut. It is good weather for all of these events and all of this driving. So that'll be nice. I've had a lot of special memories with my grandmother over the last year baking bread, making peach jam, and I've never vlogged it. And I'm like, Lindsay, these are the most special things to look back to. So I'm gonna vlog a lot of her birthday party. And I also wanna ask people like, what is your favorite thing about Grammy Scylla? And like compile it into a cute thing. So, so I guess I can start it off. My favorite thing about my grandmother is I think she's very humble, which I really admire. Despite just how amazing and how creative she is, she can make anything, like the most amazing baby quilts, the most amazing homemade peach jam, the best bread. Like she's so humble about it. And then my other favorite thing about my grandmother is she's very positive. And I think that is why she has such a great energy to her. And I really admire that. We need to head out. So I'm gonna put this down, get on the drive, hopefully. We have to bring our wedding clothes with us. So like some makeup or touch-ups, gifts. <laughs> so there's a lot going on. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I do think it's gonna be a kind of an exhausting day, but it'll be a lot of fun and definitely special. So. Greg is wearing his homemade sweater from Grammy Scylla. Yes. It's so soft. Very, yes. very handsome. She was raised by the Golden Rule, as I was, which is doing to others as you would have them do to you. She never has anything mean to say about anyone. She's positive and kind and never in a bad mood. She's just exactly who you should aspire to be. My favorite thing about Grammy Scylla, I would have to say it's just the fact that she's so positive and just lights up the room. She's always one to listen before speak, mm -hmm. and she's just a very good person to feel like you can confide in, and she's just awesome. I love Grammy yeah. Zella.
The next few clips have been life in Rhode Island lately. The autumn weather is definitely coming in, hence the sweatshirt and leggings, and the foliage is probably the best it's been in years, which I am so grateful for. I just love the red and orange leaves lately. I would say this season in life has been a bit busier, especially with the anticipated move coming up and just a lot more travel lately. We actually did a four-day Tennessee road trip two weeks ago, just to attest to the busyness. With the craziness lately, I've been dialing a lot into my routines to stay sane. I am such a routine person. For me, one of my favorite routines is cleaning, actually. A clean counter is so therapeutic, clean to my standards, of course. And baking bread and other baked goods has been another routine favorite as well. <laughs> the remainder of our barbecue jug. Despite the fact that I am so excited to move and to start a new adventure and a new chapter, I think I'm in a weird phase where I'm realizing this season of newlyweds and our first little home together might be ending soon, which makes me a little bit sad deep down inside. So I've been wanting to film and vlog to remember everything so special about this time, but at the same time, filming dilutes the experience and makes it feel a lot less genuine. So to be frank, I've just had my hands totally tied on that matter. So I've kind of backed off for a little bit. Beautiful path less travel. <laughs> Hi YouTube. I literally just tried to film a vlogging clip and I felt like an idiot. Look how pretty though. That's beautiful. Maybe we can just chop out a, put a little royalty-free music over this and no words, just sights. That's really all I have for some recent thoughts, other than life has been a little bit busy, but I mean, we're all busy, aren't we? And life's been good. And of course, I must share that our student debt is now down to $43,000 and some change. I can tell the grind is kind of wearing on me a little bit, but at the speed that we're paying it down has been so encouraging and I feel so close to our goalpost of zero dollars, so. We're getting there. Whoa.